just want to start off uh, by saying we're glad to be back home. Uh, had a, wo- a wonderful trip out west. Uh, three really good ball games. Appreciate Washington, Cal Poly, and Colorado State for allowing us to, to, to get out that way and play, trying to take some players back home. Uh, had a great trip. Uh, had the uh, op- opportunity to, to do a lot a lot of things w- with the team and show our kids a different part of the uh, of the country that a lot of them have not seen. So all went smooth, all flights were great, and we came out healthy. And now we're excited to get started uh, with a stretch of games here in December that are are going to be really challenging and some great basketball games. And that starts tomorrow night with Michigan. Uh, Kim has done a outstanding job there. Has really built the the the, the program and, ta- and and taken it to heights that they had not seen seen before. A Sweet 16 appearance last year, uh, ranked in the top top 10 now. Uh, so it should be a great great basketball game. Uh, you know, going through their their their, their players, obviously Nas. A uh, 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 Hillman is their their leading scorer and rebounder, All American c- candidate again. Uh, I I had the privilege to coach Nas in a USA ba- basketball event. Not only is she a fantastic player, she's an even better person. So I- I- excited for that challenge. You got another senior in Leah Brown. Uh, who's been playing very well for him? Uh, you know, she missed a, f- a few ball games, but uh, I, th- I think she's back to a hundred percent right now, uh, which which is a big plus for them. And then and then they've got uh, more great guards that you know are shooting the ball well. They d- 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 distribute the basketball where well. They're they're physical, um, and you know it's they they aren't going to to to, to come in here, you know, worried. They're coming in here with a chip on their their shoulder, and I expect a great basketball game. Any questions, anyone? Uh, hello, Coach Doug Smith, WDRB, filling in for Tom Lane today. Uh, he wanted to ask, uh, you have a lot of great depth on your team. How are the pieces starting to fit together? Well, you know, our, our, our depth has really been a, be- a benefit to us for sure. And now we're, we're still getting to that point of trying to get more consistency, trying to figure out, you know, who is going to be our top eight? Who's going to be our top nine? Now, we're, we're going to play 10 or 11, but I'm waiting to find out who are the seven or eight that I know exactly what I'm going to get every single night. Um, and that's what we've got to find out. I've, I've got to get more consistency from some players uh, to where then I know exactly what I'm going to get. But uh, overall, we're playing hard. But just playing hard is not going to guarantee you success. So we've got to continue to play smart. We've got to execute. And then whenever when someone gets their chance, I need them to make the most of it. Does it become a challenge to break transfers of certain habits, bringing them into your system? Well, no, I mean, it's more so getting, you know, with with the portal, it, it's getting players to really embrace and uh, uh, understand, especially here, the expectations. You know, I mean, you go back the past four years, well, not counting, I guess count, counting this year, we're like 100, 127 and 16 in the last five years, counting this year. You know, we have some players that have transferred in and lost 14, uh, uh, 15 games in one season. So now it's just trying to get them to understand the expectations, the standards, and why we've been able to do those things. You know, you've got to be able to go from one play to the next, and then you've got to be able to adjust. If you're turning the ball over, you've got to stop doing it. Uh, and you ha- have to know why, why you're doing it. If you're not making a three, well, go, go to my pull-up whatever that that might be so it's really it's not bad habits it's just trying to get them to understand the standards that have been set here coach can you talk a little bit about how the defense has been so good at the start of the year yeah we we have we took a lot of pride in the preseason on getting better defensively just some some fun, uh, fundamental things 
Um, and with that, our rebounding has improved. We, we still have to get our guards more involved in rebounding the basketball, but o- o- overall it's been more team. Team defense is, is what's been working well for us, and we've got to c- continue to, to do that. We've, uh, we've always had good, good defensive teams here, but it hasn't always started off in the preseason as well, just because once we get more game film on people, you know, I've got a wonderful staff that does a great job of, of breaking film down and, and tendencies down of players. So we become more, you know, scout specific when it comes to our, our defense. But for, for this year, we, we are much better fundamentally on guarding action, um, you know, instead of set plays. So we have to, continue that for tomorrow because it, it, it's going to be a challenge tr- trying to slow Nas down and the uh, uh, Michigan team. How nice is it just to have the uh, the ACC Big Ten Challenge back? That wasn't something that was in the women's game last year because of the weird circumstances, but a great event and nice to have it back. No, it, it sure is. I mean, there's going, there's going to be some great basketball games. I think that it, it starts tonight. Uh, for us, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to watch a few of the men's games that that were on last night as well, and you know, some really exciting high 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 quality games. And I expect the same thing, you know, with our women's event. So it's the nice thing about it; it's one less game you really have to schedule, and you know, it's going to be a good game. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. It's just like playing Kentucky each year. You 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 know it's going to be a great game. Uh, it's just a matter of you know what Sunday are we going to be able to fit it in in, in the schedule. But uh, excited to be back playing the ACC Big Ten Challenge. I appreciate it, everybody. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, one more for you, Coach. Um, let's see. Um, how about the boom to Alana Smith? What do you think about? Her improvements. Alana's really making some strides, and and, and it, with her aggressiveness, both at the offensive and defensive end of the floor, um, you know, and it's been fun to see her get better and more confident. And I'm still challenging her because I think she has more more in her to show that day in and day out. Uh, and we are going to need to need her tomorrow as well. I mean, it, it's a ball game where she could see see some significant minutes if she comes prepared to play. You got really good uh, play from your post players on the road trip. Liz had a couple of really nice games and then some foul trouble Sunday. Uh, Olivia career high six assists on Sunday. How uh, how important is that to see them kind of continue to to grow and get better as the season goes, especially when you're going against a team like Michigan tomorrow night? Our posts are going to have to step up each night, and I've been really pleased with what we've done so far. And as you said, it's not just scoring points. Um, Olivia really handled Colorado State's double teams extremely well, passed out of it as well as I've seen her pass, played with poise and patience. Um, and if she can continue to do that, which I have no reason to doubt she won't, then she's only going to enhance her game. Uh, you know, the hard thing with all of it is I, I, I joke with them is, you know, when a friend calls you or a parent calls you after a game, the first question is always how, how, how many points you score. You know, O scored five points, I, I believe, on Sunday at, at Colorado State. But she accounted for 21. She had six assists and four of those assists, three of them were three-pointers. One was a three-point play. So she accounted for 21 points. Said, oh, if you can, if you can do that every, every night. Now you might score 16 one night and have two assists, but if you're able to help account for 21 points, we have a chance to to do some uh, special things. And then Liz is really, I, I think she's getting more comfortable. If we can keep her out of foul trouble, and she knows that's really one of the only only reasons I don't start her. I mean, O's been doing fantastic. I could start Liz, O, Emily, but. Liz benefits from just watching the game for the first few minutes and then going out there as she can see the flow of the game Uh, because we need to keep her out of foul trouble. But 
really excited for her. Emily is filled in at the four for us a lot. She can also play play the three with how well she shoots the uh, basketball. So with those three, you know, in that four five area, uh, we've had a lot of success, and we've got to continue to get better. One more for me, Coach. Yeah. What do you need to emphasize on tomorrow to make sure you get the win against Michigan? Well, it's trying to to, to slow Nas down, uh, uh, obviously, at the defensive end of the floor. Nas is going to score her 20. Um, it, but what's so impressive about her is just how efficient she's been. You know, she does, she's not taking 20 shots. She's not going 10 for 20 to get her 20. She's 11 for 14. 11 for 15. And when you're doing that, you are getting something done. And that's one of the things that I talked to our players about was just the efficiency that Nas has played with. So we, we've got to make it as difficult as we can for her uh, to get to get shots. And then we've also got to be aware of where their guards are. They have some guards that are shoot, shooting the ball well from the three-point line. So it's going to take a team effort at the, de- the, the defensive end. And then offensively, we've got to cut our turnovers down. If we have 15 to, 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 to 20 turnovers tomorrow, I, I'm not too uh, excited about the uh, outcome because I'd, I'm not sure if we can succeed if we do that. Coach, from uh, Jody Dimling on Haley, what does she need to do to be more consistent on offense? Oh, it's just, she just has to relax. She's getting good shots, and she's a good shooter. She just needs to see one go through the bucket. Um that's really it. I mean, she's playing hard. She competes. Uh, she's taking good shots. And I, I just think once she sees one or two go in, then it's, it, it's, everything's going to be great. Tomorrow night, I know you've got obviously other things to worry about. Uh, the game tomorrow night, a good Michigan team. Tomorrow is your 500th game as, as uh, the head coach. Uh, do, you, do you get a chance to stop and kind of reflect on 500 games and and what that that means no i mean i'm just blessed and fortunate to be able to have been here for 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 500 games um you know as we we've talked i think um what are we 390 and 109 if that record was reversed i don't think i'd be seeing game 500 you know so the success here goes back to the players that have come through here the ones that have, you know, that believed in the same vision that we had here as a staff uh, and what we could turn Louisville women's basketball into. And uh, I'm not sure really anybody really thought we could do what we did, what we've done except for us. Uh, You know, to take a program that had never been to a Sweet 16 to where now, you know, I get the emails of when are we getting back to a Final Four, when are we going to win a national championship, and uh, I think that's outstanding because that's our goal. But in the first few years, it was just, hey, can we get to a Sweet 16? So it's fun to to have been a part of it and watch the expectations of this basketball program completely change. And that's all because of the players. Uh, We have had some wonderful young, young, young ladies that have come through this program uh, it's year f- uh, 15 and exciting now when I'm getting we- we- uh, uh, wedding invitations and birth announcements. And, you know, that's when you realize you're, a st- you're starting to get old. But, uh, and we still have a bunch of them that are playing professionally o- overseas. So it- it- it's been great. It's- it-, it really is hard to believe because this is a profession, as we all know. Uh, to-, to stay somewhere for-, for 15 years is not very easy. And to have the success that we've had uh, does not come easy. So we're very, I'm very grateful for that and, and blessed for it. And, and as I've said, I've got a wonderful, wonderful staff. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank, thank you so much.